didn't sign an NDA, okay. but you didn't also sign a release form, so please don't sue me. Good morning guys and welcome to another vlog. Today I'm actually updating you from Portofino and you probably know I'm in Portofino from my stories but I really could not not vlog here. There was an option to just enjoy the beauty because the beauty is an incredible incredible beauty here. Something that you will see in this vlog and I kind of wanted to keep it selfishly just for myself but honestly I had to share it with you because I think you will really enjoy it. We are staying at the Belmont Splendid Hotel. <clears throat> Must be my voice. I feel lately the more I'm sleeping, the more tired I have. But that's, I guess, the, the deal. Uh, Body is resting before the crazy fashion marathon. We all know it. I really want to show you this place because I think it's honestly one of the most beautiful places I've ever been in. And I've been to Puerto Vino before. I came like to the area. This is like this is. I think Philippa and I are talking about it going to be our getaway spot besides. It's Como, which is like 30 minutes away from Milan. I think that Portofino could be another one because it's just like under two hours from our home to this hotel. So how perfect. But let me show you. This is our first breakfast. We arrived yesterday. I was so tired. Like, I don't know why, but honestly, like we traveled from Velo. We got home. We repacked. And then in the morning, we left to Splendido, which... It's not really tiring at all, normally, for a normal Tanara, but I found it so tiring. Maybe it was like the back-to-back -back travel, or maybe we should have avoided coming to Milan, but I really wanted to change my luggage, you know? Anyway, the point is that we're in the most beautiful place now that I'm gonna show you breakfast at, and I think you're gonna like it. This is the breakfast room that no one is really using because the Paris overview in Portofino is just so much more stunning. But then there's a buffet and there's also a menu. So you can see there's some... Oh, this looks very good. Cetriolo, mela, zanzero. Okay, I'm gonna take this juice. As you can see, I want to see the sweet part of the buffet because you guys know what I like, <laughs> right? Look at this. Wow. But... I just saw this pistachio cake for sure I will have. Oh no, it's a plum cake, yogurt, plum cake. Looks delicious. Oh my god, look at this. And this. The chef here is really good. On my way to the table, I just wanted to show you this is the way to the pool. The pool is down there. Look at this. With incredible view of Portofino. I'm sure you've seen this on Instagram because it is really stunning. Some people are already there. It's like 10.30, but we came to breakfast quite late. My breakfast includes porridge, water porridge, some berries, most delicious latte macchiato and this is the view. I mean, can we just focus on this view? The view is a pen. Plan for today is next. We're going for a little walk. We're gonna show you down. I want to take some content for my Instagram because it's so beautiful. The one thing with Portofino comparing to Ravello, for example, is you do have to walk a little bit more, whereas in Ravello everything is so local and I think there are way, way, way more people here. Yeah, I think that Portofino is more touristic. Yeah. Everyone in the world knows about Portofino. Not everyone knows about Ravello. That's true. Ravello is more niche, is more uh, hidden. Uh, for me, it's. I mean, we're talking about two beautiful places, but for me, Ravello is another level. Yeah, because we like more understated places. No, because when I'm in Portofino, I feel like I could be anywhere else because I'm surrounded by a lot of tourists. Yeah. When you go to Ravello, it's a very it's specific, a, it's a real yeah. Italian experience. But this view, I think, is a little bit better than Ravello, even though that view in Ravello is the same. But look it's at close. this. It's, uh, because you can see better, you know, you can see the boats, the houses. Oh, it's just gorgeous. The houses are like pink and red. And last night, I will I will insert some clips. So I didn't really vlog last night, but I kind of did. So I will insert now last night dinner. So let's do it, guys. We are running a little bit late to the dinner, but. This place is beautiful and I think we're having dinner over there. Oh my god, how beautiful is this evening? 
Wow, baby, will you show my outfit? I think light where you're standing is pretty magical, so. Okay. I am going to be completely and utterly overdressed tonight because my boyfriend requested I wear this. Did I? Kind of. It's just kidding. Of course. I, mean, I was like, did something change? I really like this outfit and it's a date night, so. It is a very, like, a Paris Fashion Week outfit. Not maybe, like, so much for the Vino, but I'm really feeling it and there's no such a thing as being overdressed, so we're late. Let's uh, what, what about the shoes? Wait. Shoes? I think it's the first time I'm wearing them, but I've had them now since, well, you guys can remember when for a while now. These are, you know, just to complete my YSL shoe collection, right? What about my Celine boots? No comment. I don't know where you came from. I don't know what you did to my heart. You touch my soul like a phantom, and you did. It's now pretty dark. We got our starters. We're starting with some raw seafood. Look at the view, beautiful. And just enjoying with the love of my life. I'm having pasta, which is my top three pastas, and you're having pasta, which is also in my top three no, pastas, but it's your number one it's pasta. It's my number one, yes. Which is Mongolia, right? Yeah. It looks delicious. Mine which I eat is only when I'm on the seaside. Good call. I am having a three kinds of tomato pasta which is a kind of an homage to elizabeth taylor i need to ask why huh? maybe she used to eat it a lot elizabeth taylor very beautiful i even saw a shooting star guys that i've never seen like that before in my life guys little update elizabeth taylor had great taste no very she loved good food clearly diamonds and men so i think um, she definitely definitely knew what she wanted okay so you saw what i wore you saw kind of like a brief of what we did we came here for the dinner i saw the most incredible shooting star over there and i told my boyfriend like he couldn't have seen it because his back was towards it and the shooting star was so huge that it looked like uh, i don't know like it was at one point i was like like a falling plane like it was so close and then the guy that we met at the pool but he was actually there was a couple having a dinner next to us and the guy from that couple asked me like have you seen it and i was like i, I can't believe it what is it and it almost looked like it was green it's crazy anyway that's what i saw last night it was the biggest shooting star i've ever seen in my life we are going for a walk to buy a cannone and this is the view of the hotel from down because we're walking I got my latte macchiato to take away. Look at how beautiful it is. Last few days of holidays. I strongly recommend coming to Portofino if you've never been or if you've been because this is just so stunning. Love it. I mean, can we just discuss this view? Baby, how gorgeous. It's so beautiful. Wow, guys, look at this view. It's so beautiful. How's the sea? There's a little beach here also, which is a public beach where I'm not gonna vlog the people. We're sunbathing. And oh, it looks really, really cute. It's like a little bay. Guys, we made it to buy a canone. E ti piace qua? No? Ti piace qua? Ti piace qua? No? No? Same. It's a really small, cute bay. I put my hair up because I I don't want to wear it and I wanted to go for a swim. The view is spectacular. I did uh, like some pictures, I did a little reel here. It's beautiful in my good trusty oldie but goldie Chanel swim. I like it. It's absolutely packed with people. Like what you see on my Instagram is not a reality at all because you can barely walk. How many people here are just like, in, of course, enjoying their Friday afternoon, which is well deserved and reasonable, but just wanted to kind of, you know, extend to you so that your expectations are met these two beautiful pink and orange houses are like i think the view when you come to portofino you have to come to buy a canone it's a public beach so you know what to expect but it's absolutely stunning with the crystal green sea thank you
Tu sei bello? Sì, sì. Tu sei bello. <laughs> Ciao. Anyway, um, swim, maybe, and then we're gonna go back to the hotel and enjoy okay. our honeymoon. Maybe, right? We're gonna go back to the hotel to enjoy our honeymoon. Yep, 100%. That's it. Back at Splendo, it was a nice walk. We went, you see there, those roads up the hill all the way from the beach. And now, straight to the pool. I look like I just woke up, plus in pyjama, no? I changed my outfit to uh, swimwear and to the Loewe side because, because it's just so comfy and cozy since the last two days of holidays. But I'm gonna change it again because I want to take a beautiful picture here at this stunning spot which is, by the way, absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. Last night I ate the pasta here which is like Elizabeth Taylor inspired because when she would come here she always requested this uh, Pomodoro uh, pasta. Pomodoro? Pomodoro pasta. Which was actually, they decided decided to make like with the uh, three kinds of tomatoes to make it like extra special and it's extra special I promise you that delish but now I'm gonna go up to the room which I haven't even shown you actually but it's so messy I think to change again because I don't want to take a picture at this beautiful lunch in a pajama outfit I think you will agree did you like my outfit change? love it we got some desserts shall we show them? there were six now there are four. I'm gonna eat this one. Questo si chiama Bigné. Coming from? Bigné is from? South of France. No idea. In France it's called Chouquette. Today view it's pretty unreal. But your view is more unreal. My view is the best. And also mine. I'm ready to go back to the pool. You? Today is so stressful, guys, because... It's Friday. There's a lot going on. We're preparing Venice Film Fest. And then there is New York. And, you know, I don't want, like, all do like everybody else you know always complaining we are blessed we do what we love and we are busy af can i say af you can okay let me quickly show you my outfit of the day i shot it once before and i got a million questions about it this dress is from the row it's very very long and you're supposed to wear it with probably high heels but i really like it in this casual how do you like it i prefer it i don't think yeah. this should go with the high heels at all oh, well that it is what it is I got my mini caddy, which I don't think I wear enough, that I got from you, the belt, and then the Celine glasses. And that's pretty much it. We're going to the pool because I do have, well, it's the Ginza sandal, as always, at the bottom, and I have my swimming suit underneath, so let's go. Guys, I thought now is a perfect time that I update you a little bit on all of my adventures. Filippo disagrees. He thinks now is a terrible time to update you because he thinks that it's gonna be very loud at the pool, people are swimming, enjoying kids, you know. But that's life and we're not gonna fake it. It is what it is. So I'm for the first time ever wearing these hoops. These are by Misoma, one of my absolute favorite jewelry brands. You guys know it. We all know it. I will link them below. Look how beautiful and colorful they are. And I haven't worn like large hoops in a very long time. Baby, how do you like me with these hoops? Very much. And Filippo said yesterday, because I traveled in them, they're very light, very light, very nice. I really, really, really like them. Sorry, my nails, yeah. Long holidays, guys, long holidays. Anyway, love the hoops, beautiful. Highly recommend them. We'll link them below so you guys can check them out. I'm in my bathing suit right now with a bun on top of my head. Finally enjoying a cloudy moment because it was very sunny, I was sunbathing. You know when it's really hot, you don't want to really get out of your camera to vlog, etc. We were swimming, spent a lot of time in, in the water. My fingers are still pruny. Can you see? Little prunes? I spent also half a day organizing New York Fashion Week because we have so much going on, like for New York. And I booked my flights already. I don't know, like a month ago we had flights booked for, everything was done. And then today I got another job confirmed, which means that I have to be in New York two days before. So I had to make so much reshuffling, but everything is fine. So I'm very excited for New York. I haven't been since February. Normally I would go to New York at least two, three times a year, but not, not this year. February was the first time I went to New York after like a long bit and I'm gonna be back in September. I'm very excited. I love New York in September, but my favorite time to go to New York is in the like four months when Central Park is yellow. Isn't that the best? 
Mm-hmm. You sound very convincing. What are you thinking about? I'm thinking about New York. What are you thinking? Yeah, now is kind of a good time because New York is in uh, 10 days, more or less. Yeah, but mm-hmm. uh, I need to understand about my Asian food. Yep, my boyfriend might have a bit of a tour around Asia while I'm in New York, but we're trying to figure it out, but it's all good. So yeah, that's more or less it. I am gonna go back to the room now to have shower because it's cloudy and get ready for dinner. We're going to Portofino, baby. Questa notte ti porto fino a Portofino. How good is that? Wow, wow. Ti porto fino a Portofino. Anyway, guys, see you in a, in a second in the room. Okay, guys, it's dinner time. I'm in such a good mood. Are you in such a good mood? Well, if you on a good mood, I am on a good mood. I'm in a great mood, even though it's the last day of holidays, but I'm so ready to go back, you know? I'm ready to get back to work. Anyway, I wanted to show you the look that I'm wearing. It's from Prana. It is this beautiful, uh, this is a runway look. Do you like it? Love it so I know. much. Filippo was like, when he saw the dress, he was like, wow, wow, wow. Actually, they, I know that Prada released also the mini version of this dress. It also came in like a yellow, I believe. Anyway, you can check it out. I will link it in the description box below. I'm wearing it with my symbol bag. I wore this also yesterday when we went for gelato in town, but you haven't seen that. And I got these shoes. These are like a perfect Prada heels, the triangle logo. Belt is also Prada, as well as the sunglasses. These are the ones that I've received in my Prada summer box that you can actually see on my TikTok account. If you don't follow me, I strongly suggest you do because there's even a video with... With me? Yes. What do you mean? On my TikTok. Oh, yes. <laughs> did I sign an NDA? No. No, you didn't sign an NDA, oh. but you didn't also sign a release form, so please don't sue me. Anyway, it is... What else have we got in my bag? Nothing, just a wallet and a lipstick, which is my favorite Charlotte Tilbury one in Penelope Pink. That's what I'm wearing on my lips. And that is it, I'm ready to go to Portofino. We're gonna have a little stroll, right? Yep. And then a dinner at Splendido Mare. Ciao. Okay, let me show you a little bit of Portofino. It's basically this bay. <laughs> that is it. There is not really much more to it, but it's so beautiful with these colorful houses. I don't know if you've been, but in case not, this is it. We are going to have dinner just over there at Splendido Mare. So stunning. Wow, guys, we just sat down for the dinner at Splendido Mare, and this is the view. The lights all went on. It's so beautiful. Maybe I'm ready for this. What is that? It's a spaghetti made of tuna. Yeah. And he said he suggests we mix it and we eat it like real spaghetti. You need to try it, it's so good. E un spaghettone. Wow. You want a full plate of this? Huh? But this is exceptional. Yeah. Yes. This looks and smells delicious. And the base is with the cotta. Yep. So baby, what are you wearing? Did you... Wow! How do you say? Oggi sono golosa. Non lo so, non lo so come si dice questo in italiano. Sì, oggi sono golosa. No, è il questo. Ah, il bavaglino. Bavaglino! What are you having? Paccheri con pomodoro. The story plate. Wow! Wow! It's the signature, right? Your signature yes. dish. Yes. Looks delicious. Our signature dish. Yeah. Incredible. <laughs> Something else is coming. As you can see, there is a lot of people here. Maybe. Okay. A little bit of trophy al pesto. Here we have uh, octopus uh, spicy pasta. And this for is me. for the scarpetta. And this is for right? scarpetta, of course. Because yeah. maybe. Wow. Buon appetito. Grazie mille. Guys, the sauce with the paccheri is the best I think I ever had in my life. It's so good. You never say something like that, so it must be true. But this restaurant is really, really the top level. This is a restaurant that also belongs to Benedict, right? Yes, because they have two hotels in Portofino. Wow. Splendido and Belmont. Uh, I think Mare. No, Splendido Mare. Mm-hmm. Smaller one, but I really love it. Guys, okay, so this is what's left because we pretty much ate all the dessert. 
and we're so full. We had like many plates of pasta. This was probably, it was a long summer, but one of the best pasta, no, it was the best pasta dinner I've had this summer. The, the paccheri with pomodoro, in like honestly, like 12, 12, it's a 12. And yours, baby? It was really amazing. But I think that but this restaurant is really, really amazing. So you have to come, you have to come to Splendido Mare, that's what it's called. I really, really enjoyed it and I really highly recommend it. So that's it. Good morning, guys. It's a new day. It's our last day in Portofino. In fact, we're leaving in a few hours' time. We still have time for a little swim and some bathing and a few pictures, which is why I'm dressed up. I'm wearing to the First time actually this Chanel top and this was the actual outfit. Okay, the actual outfit is here. Good? Do you like it? Love it. I mean I don't know if they can see it, but it's dark. Yeah. I'm sorry guys. But anyway, you will see it on Instagram. I will insert a picture if you cannot see it here. Already had breakfast. Very nice. Time to go to the pool now. Okay guys, so um, I wanted to show you an outfit before but it was so dark it was not possible so I'll show it to you now. I'm wearing the Chanel skirt that I wore at Coachella, do you remember Vivi? Yeah. And uh, the Chanel top from like the same collection, Spring Summer 22. My Doro Ginza sandals that I wear all the time, this is a Saint Laurent white shirt. I don't know if this is mine or yours, I think it's mine because the sleeves are perfect. It is. A Chanel hat, sunglasses. I got my second cappellato macchiato di soia da portare via. Because Brava. the first one I had at the table. And that's it. Now we're gonna take a picture because I really like this outfit. Guys, had my last swim probably because it's like already won something. I'm wearing this Amazon swim, my Prada nylon shorts, the same Saint Laurent shirt that is now a little bit wet, but to be honest, it's so hot outside that it kind of feels nice. It will dry in two and a half seconds. I never actually showed you our balcony besides when I was showing you the outfit. It's so beautiful. Love it here. The view is just so spectacular, but I'm already late for lunch. My boyfriend's already down there. So I'm gonna head there for lunch. Sad we're leaving this beautiful place soon, but you guys know that it's time to get back to work, right? Because New York Fashion Week, honestly, like I, even though it's Saturday today, I'm getting so many like dressing options, scheduling things. Yesterday I told you I had to change like a lot of things in the schedule because we got like a few other things going on. So I need to sit down to have my agenda, which by the way I brought here, I just, it's not really nice to use it at the beach, you know what I mean? I wanna sit at the desk, have my agenda, have my computer, have everything printed out, all the schedules for New York, London, Milan and Paris and all of that stuff. At the same time, I'm planning like selecting dressing options for Venice Film Festival and the jewelry and this and that, and it's all the fun stuff but it's not easy to do when you're at the beach and you cannot even see your screen. So I'm going back to work and that's okay. We still haven't packed. It's like 2 p.m. We need to pack as we're leaving at 4. No, it's 1 p.m. Uh, we need to pack, we need to have lunch and then we're leaving to Milano. <laughs> 